Hello guys, uh, it's Nikola again. Today I will show you, as you can see, I have one box with the sign on it, DLE. It's the DLE 85, as you can see. And today I will unbox this engine and see what comes in it. So, let's begin. Okay, let's go. Let's begin with the first cut. As you can see, sticker, something about muffler, and manuals, it's some English and I think it's Chinese, I would say, okay, that's it, let's go. Oh, here it is. It's for muffler. Here's the muffler. It's a big one. And this go on it. So, all good. This is also for the muffler. On here, with two bolts that goes through those holes. And as you can see, there is a pipe for a smoke system. So, good thing. <coughs> With the ignition, it's uh, yes, uh, 4 8 to 8.4 volts. So, 2S LiPo directly, no problem. Here is the spark switch. Spark. Or, no, and protector for the cables. Here is the mounts. As you can see, it's one, two, three, four of them with uh, all bolts included. And here is that special thing that I like about this engine this mount with the suspensors and with the, how you call it, that go inside the rubber. So, this is interesting. <coughs> uh, is it good or bad to use uh, suspenser? I don't know, I have a uh, chance to try both on same plane. Actually, my friend did. Uh, he, when he install, installed the engine, uh, he put rubber suspensors and the plane was very shaking at the idle. And then he tried to remove rubber suspensors. And after this, uh, there was no much not so much shaking of the plane so in some cases good in some cases not good so in, i don't know about what it depends i didn't figure it out so okay turn it to you here's the main thing uh, it's not small it's uh, pretty big As you can see in my arms, it is very big, big engine, and not much to say about its DLE. They are very quality for the price, very good. 
throttle as you can see already have a longer extension for the throttle one thing uh, before you start the engine first time remove this this is this has to be open and this is just for the protecting nuts to get uh, dirty inside so after first start remove it because you will not be able to start it with on it when it's on here is a choke on the two sides it can be here or it can be here as you can see on the both sides is hole so you can put uh, if you want servo or hand choke whatever <clears throat> so we can use it on this side or this side here you got the uh, fuel from the tank and this is it what I see something new for me I didn't see this before you can see hole in here and on the other side also so here and here I think this is just for to make it easier for uh, take this off I think I don't know I didn't see this there is already the bolts inside I can see through here there, there is a bolt inside and I actually don't know why this I will have to figure out magnet you can see it and the sensor on the place where it should be and yes this is it as you can see DLE 85 made in China doesn't matter about this made in China it's still very good quality engines I have my uh, DLE 55 on my timber excellent engine it's DLE 55 RA from rear exhaust and I have one Boxer DLE 130 on my slick also great engine no problems at all so I think that this one is also <laughs> it looks massive and it will be hard not to break it or to destroy it many hours i think will be needed to destroy it if of course if you use proper proper lubrication and fuel so this is pretty much it uh, yes uh, on dle i would i use uh, mixture uh 40 to 1 so 4 liter gas and 1 lit 1 liter oil so and i use it for i don't know two years now and without any problem uh, dle works great for the first start i use uh, 3 liter of gasoline and one deciliter so 1000 milliliters uh, 100 milliliters of mineral mineral oil and when I burn all these three, three liters with mineral oil, mineral oil then I go to syn full synthetic oil I use Bellore oils and <clears throat> as I said mixture 40 to 1 and for the last two years without any problems and start good work good and no problems so dearly 85 as you can see it's not small but i think a lot of power so it will be for a friend uh, pilatus pc6 turbo porter it's uh, I'm not sure I think it's 
3 meter and 20 centimeters, 3.2 meters wingspan. And he will use it for air tow, for towing uh, the gliders. Uh, and I believe this that this thing will, without any problem, be used for air tow. So, thank you for watching. I hope that I help help you with this video. And till next time, I still waiting for my plane glider actually, and then I will film another unboxing and of course the assembling and <clears throat> as you know, the first flight and next few flights. So this is it. Thank you for watching and till next time. Bye.